What's going on everybody, it's Frito here for your Overwatch, and this time we're going to be giving you an advanced guide on battle rhyming, which is sometimes a bit of a tongue-in-cheek statement. It can be said about Reinhardts who too easily want to go into battle mode, but in reality, though it is difficult to learn all the strategical elements of Reinhardt and how important it is to save your team with your shield and position correctly, if you don't actually know how to use his abilities and to switch it on in the few key moments that you do want to be Battle Rhine, you aren't going to be as good of a Rhine as you could be. It is just important to be able to land all of your charges and your fire strikes as it is to play smart and coordinated with your team. Now in this video in particular, we're actually watching footage from our friend Tuka. Tuka is a bit of a Chuck Norris figure on our streams. He has been rumored to be able to charge Faros out of the sky. <laughs> the big plays he makes are so impactful to the stream and it's so obvious when he makes them because we just snowball on the point. But the secret of Tuka's gameplay is that sometimes he makes mistakes trying to battle Ryan too much. But the thing is ultimately, with the playstyle of Overwatch and as well in our group, we don't mind it too much because the few times you do make big plays, you are able to overcome an objective because ultimately, as we saw in the ESL Atlantic Showdown, there was a Reinhardt named Reinforce who got a lot of criticism from the casters and the analysts for charging in too much. But the point is, in Overwatch, oftentimes there's these big swings of play that it's okay if you take risks, but your team has to be prepared for you to be that kind of Reinhardt. Ultimately, if you get a Rhine in position to charge, take out an enemy, and then be able to do massive amounts of cleave damage, you can just overwhelm that objective and win that fight handily. But if he misses that charge and dies for free, you may have just given the other team a fight. Just as how Rogue ultimately did win the entire event, even though that they had very risky Reinhardt play. In Overwatch, you get a lot of opportunities to be able to make up fights. So even if you have more of a risk reward type playstyle, you're gonna have opportunities to recoup that. Whereas in other esport games like Counter-Strike, taking big risks might just throw your entire economy in that game, screwing you over for the rest of the game. It's pretty hard to do that in Overwatch unless you just waste your ultimates. Throughout the duration of an Overwatch game, there's gonna be multiple team fights so that as long as your team is prepared to go in with you and willing to take some risks on your Reinhardt play, battle Rhin away, baby. But even risks aside, Reinhardt has plays that can either finish an objective or completely pull the lid off of it. Reinhardt's Earth Shatter is one of the best ways to knock down an opposing team's defense and win a team fight handily, but his ability to charge in and pop the lid off of a defense enables your team to flood in. Most of this comes in the Rind games category, the mind games played between Reinhardts, is that Reinhardt standing still with the shield up, if he gets charged, will get pinned. But don't even just think of that as a damage ability to help destroy the enemy team's Reinhardt. It's also a boop ability in a way because it removes the 2000 hit point barrier away from the opposing team. Now granted, your Rhine shield is gonna be down too, but it just opens up the battlefield and it allows for the scrum to happen with the value in your pocket, seeing as you'll be doing 50 damage on contact and 300 damage when you pin them against the wall. The other aspect of this is, if the enemy team decides they want to charge you, you have to be ready on the drop of a hat to charge back at them. No matter what, because if your team's ready or not, either the Rhine misses you, hits a teammate, killing them instantly, or hits you, deals damage to you, and removes your Rhine shield from the battlefield. Anytime you see the enemy team's Rhine coming at you, you have to be ready on a dime to be able to go right at them, or you'll get punished horribly and likely just lose the fight. Because it isn't just you as Reinhardt getting hit, remember, it's their Rhine being in your formation, being able to deal 75 cleave damage per second. I mean, you think Winston can deal some damage. He only does 60. And I think Rhine's hammer has even a bigger arc, making it easier to hit. And even worst case scenario, if you dive in and miss the enemy team's Reinhardt, as long as you pin something, it's an instant pick with you in the backfield able to cleave up the enemy team. With the addition of Ana being so prevalent in the meta right now, these Reinhardt abilities are team comp changing. As once you get into the position to be able to W mouse one into the enemy team, dealing 100 damage a crack with Nano Reinhammer, 
you're going to charge your own ultimate, which is something that I think they definitely should look into. At the pro level, this is what is key to making the triple tank, triple support team comp work, is that because Nano Boost charges so fast, you pop it on the Rhine, he goes ham into the enemy team, charges his own ultimate, which is also one of the best ultimates in the game, and you can keep chaining them back and forth. Meanwhile, if they're trying to deal with the Nano Boosted Rhine, and Ana's still alive, she's going to get her ultimate again because she can pocket all the damage Rhine is taking. It's arguably the best combo in the entire game right now, and until they change it, I suggest you guys learn how to utilize it as well. You can watch my Ana guide to learn it from that side of things, or you could be the beast himself Reinhardt. What I would like to see happen is that Nano Boost, when active on your hero, stops you from charging ultimate just as you can't charge ultimate right after ulting yourself. That's my opinion. We'll see how they deal with it. Either way, this is going to be a great combo to exploit, even if that was the change. Now, I spoke the entire video about how to think about Reinhardt's abilities, but what if you're struggling in setting them up? Well, in order to land a charge, you have to be comfortable with the lack of mobility that you're going to have. You're almost like a straight dart. So in order to set that up properly, you have to square up against the enemy team's death ball. The more of them, the merrier, because then if you miss, at least you hit something. The worst thing you can do is hit nothing. But keep in mind that you can sort of steer Reinhardt, kind of like a spinning bowling ball down the lane, ever so slightly to the left or right in order to nab somebody. But it's best that you read their movement and know that they can't easily escape once you start to get going. The enemy team's Reinhardt is the easiest target because he moves so slow when he has his shield up and you can charge through his shield anyway. Hitting the fire strike is also important too, but I would say more so to charge your ultimate from range rather than just purely dealing damage. Note that fire strike does go through enemy team's barriers and cleaves through their team, so if you can line up multiple of them, you'll deal a ton of damage and get a ton of charge. There's a bit of a delay to it when you press the ability, so be prepared to put a huge lead on it because it moves slowly, but it hits hard. That's it for me for today. I hope this guide was helpful in unlocking your hidden potential to make big plays as Reinhardt yourself. If you want to come see Tuka in action, head on over to our streams. Most times he is playing with us, rhining away and decimating the enemy team. And Tuka has his own YouTube channel, which is linked in the description along with everything else. I'm sure if you ask him nice enough, he'll post more sick God Rhine gameplay. Be sure to follow us on Twitter where you can see a feed of our videos, all the channel updates, and announcements when our stream goes live. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button, it really does help us out. Subscribe to the channel, we upload each and every day. I've been Frito for your Overwatch, I'll see you guys next time.